Hi, I'm Lance with Brando Consulting, inventory expert since 2006. In this video, I'm going to show you how to receive inventory back from a customer who's unhappy with it. We're going to go to the credit note screen over on the left hand side. We'll click sales, credit notes, click new credit note and select the customer that's going to return it to us. Scroll down, select the part we're going to return, coffee maker good and he's going to return 20 coffee makers now sin 7 wants to know the sales reference that's a required field if he doesn't know which order he purchased it from you can always just type in unknown otherwise it's good to know the sales order number that he previously purchased it from and then also when we're doing a return we want to give them their money back for the return and so another required field is the payment type. Sin7 wants to know how we're going to return the money. Once we've got that completed, then we can approve this. I forgot to make it a negative quantity. That's a common mistake. So there we go. Make it a negative quantity. Gives us a pop-up. It's good. Click save. And they're returning a ZZ7 coffee maker. Now let's take a look at ZZ7 in our standard inventory levels. We'll go to standard reports, stock on hand and availability. Pull up ZZ7 at the top. And it says current stock quantity, SOH stock on hand is blank. So that's a zero. Now we're gonna change that by completing the credit note. So the first step we just approved the return of the item when they called in. Now we're going to go back and go to the credit note that had the ZZ7 on it and say it's completed. It wants to know the quantity completed so we put in the quantity completed there. Click Save. Now let's go check the level of stock on hand. Stock on hand and availability report. Now it says we've got 20 on hand. So that's the basics of returning stock and bringing it back in using a credit memo when the customer is unhappy with what they purchased and bringing it back on hand.